Hello viewers, welcome back. So today I present you Victor Diduk magnetic motor. On my left side you can see the image how it looks like. So before I continue explaining and showing you animation how this works, let me now show you uh, the Charles Campbell flywheel system. So in front of my face now you can see the Charles Campbell flywheel system, which is basically similar to Victor Diduk magnetic motor. But let me explain the difference. If you remember, uh, the Charles Campbell system uh, has a drive motor and has the output generator. So basically, you would have an input generator or electric motor which would, I don't know, consume one kilowatt, and you on the output generator would have 1.2 kilowatts. It's strange. But yeah, because of the flywheel in the middle and the system of drive pulleys, the actual power on the output should be higher than on the input. This is the, the, the pulley system, how it works. But whether it works in reality and that you get the over unity on the output, we don't know. But let me now compare this. Why, why even I mentioned the Charles Campbell flywheel system? Because the Victor Dituk magnetic motor works very similar. But the difference is only that uh, Charles Campbell system does not include any magnets, any permanent magnets. And the Victor Diduc system in the middle, as you can see now in front of my face uh, with this animation, it has this thread or magnets. So it has two sets of magnets going one toward each other and they are uh, separated by some, some degrees so they can push the system forward. And of course, on the outside, as you can see, we have a huge flywheel, so, uh, which help to, uh, to when, when we spin the system, we, we use basically some energy to spin the system. And uh, yeah, uh, this helps that we up overcome the opposing magnetic field because we have the momentum and we continuously spin the system. So, so this is the difference. So Charles Campbell doesn't have any magnets, Victor Diduc has permanent magnets plus flywheels. So this is the difference. But let's go to the big screen on the left and show a little bit how this actually works. All right, so this is the Victor Diduc magnetic motor. It's really, really amazing and it's a magnificent machine. So as we see, we have on the sides of the rotor, we have these huge flywheels. And these flywheels actually help that we overcome the opposing magnetic field between those permanent magnets on this shaft, where is the rotor, and the permanent magnets on this small shaft. Yeah, so this is the output generator. So basically this is it. So this huge uh, magnet on the rotor and flywheels actually create the energy and uh, flywheels help that these small magnets does not, do, do not stop the rotor, the huge rotor. So this would be more, more or less it. So in front of my face now you can see the patent. So I tried to, there are several versions of this patent and I picked one version and I made a video. So hopefully you will read the patent and you will find out much more about it. But for now this is it. So as I said, uh, so difference is between uh, the Charles Campbell and uh, Victor Diduc is that Victor Diduc uh, has permanent magnets, where Charles Campbell has only flywheel, which is yeah, rather hard to believe that we, it would work. So this is basically it. Well, Victor Liduc is very interested in the motor because it has unique design. And he is, if you go to the link in the description below, you will see that has so many citations. It's cited in so many patents. And really, besides maybe Howard Johnson magnetic motor, which you can see now in front of my face, and maybe Mike Brady permanent magnet machine, this one is very famous also, because I suppose it may even work. I don't know the exact measures, they are not stated in the patent like in any other patent, but yeah, we should try to get it from Mr. Uh, so Mr. Diduk, maybe he will give us, but I doubt. So if it works, we won't get it, that's for sure. But nevertheless, it's an interesting idea to be presented to, to all of you because, yeah, I, I appreciate you are watching this video, you are enjoying it, you are giving likes for the video, which I'm very grateful for. And 
until next video comes in light on my channel which will also incorporate some animation just stay tuned on my channel bye bye